I uh, thank you. Just I I don't want to start it because there's a long answer, but there's a lot of questions on cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Yeah, and sure. I think we may, sure. we if you could just take a few minutes and sort of uh, just sure discuss your sure. vision around it. Sure. So I mean, I think you should step away from cryptocurrency to to the underlying distributed ledger, which is the real foundational mother technology. Blockchain is one way of using distributed ledger. It connects blocks with cryptogram protected tokens, and you can unlock those to connect backwards. That's just one use. And cryptocurrency is one use of blockchain. So we have very quickly ended up, unfortunately, with people mixing up all these three things. And I find it useful to just spend a minute making sure we know there are three different things. Within cryptocurrency, there are many variants. There are variants like Bitcoin, which to me, it's called a currency, but it doesn't have the attributes of a currency. Because a currency needs to be a good store of value, needs to be exchangeable simply and easily, and needs to not be volatile. Those three things need are important. A Bitcoin, unfortunately, is neither quick nor, uh, nor is it not volatile. I think volatility is its middle name, as has been demonstrated. And as a store of value, therefore, it's very difficult to predict. So if you're a merchant selling a Coca-Cola to, to, to John, and you sold it now for Bitcoin's equivalent to $2.5, and in 15 minutes, that became $94, and then 20 minutes after, it became 22 cents, that's a pretty bad way to do business. That doesn't work. So the idea of saying that central banks are devaluing currencies by issuing money, and therefore, Bitcoin is important as an alternative, that's just not correct. It's a good asset. If you're a sophisticated asset investor, go ahead and invest in it. But that's one kind of cryptocurrency. The second one are stable coins, which take away the, the volatility by tying it to a basket. That's more interesting. There you still have to worry about things like uh, transparency and compliance with know your customer and anti-money laundering stuff. But there's that. And then there's variants of that, which are central bank digital currencies, which could be really interesting, which is fiat currencies issued by central banks which enable the friction of the standard way of currency exchange to go away. And so I think probably some form in between these three will evolve over time. And we as a company are dedicated to investigating all three. We are nervous about the volatility and the, the non-transparency of Bitcoin, and I've said so often, it's an asset, not a currency. But stable coins are more interesting, and central bank digital currencies, boy, that could be really interesting in the future.